I do like to use um, quieter roads. If I have to head into the heavier traffic, I'll try and choose, first of all, times of day when possibly it's not gonna be that frenetic and frantic. But if it just is that time of day, there's certain things that I can do to, to make myself more visible and safer on the road. So making sure that you, you're visible, you're bright, you're not blending in road colours and be predictable so that they kind of know what I'm doing. If you're zigging and zagging in and out of, of um, the sides of, of the road as you're going because you're kind of wanting to hug the pavement because you're a little scared, well I think for a driver that must be so confusing. Um, you know, is that person pulling over? Are they pulling out? What are they doing? You know, it's, it's not predictable. So I ride that little bit further out. By being that little bit further out, I don't have to duck and dive around all the stuff that is on the road or park cars, things like that. I can keep a smooth straight line. Looking back is, is where cars are coming from. So looking over your right shoulder and making sure you know what's coming up behind you can also help you then when you're looking forward that 20, 30, 50 metres down the road to predict what's coming up so that you can make judgement calls that are safe and, and courteous um, knowing what's coming up behind you as well. It's just creating that little bit of space for yourself on the road I think as long as we can all start actually behaving in a similar manner, um, drivers can actually start working out as well what cyclists are doing. I pull up into a section and um, I'll pull quite close to the kerb so I know that somebody cannot come up on the inside of me. And then, But then when you've got to turn the corner, you've got to pull wide to go round. You've got 20 metres of trailer behind you and it's not going to follow you around in, in a perfect circle, it's going to cut in if there's somebody there. It, that's, that's when trouble can happen. I do get cyclists come up on the inside and they'll, they'll stop in front of me and I'm just, sometimes I've just been lucky that I've seen them. You are quite high up and on the left hand side by the passenger's door, it's, it's a blind spot. You can't see if somebody's here or not. I really love that signage on the trucks, if you can't see my mirror, I can't see you. Um, and that is so true because there's so many blind spots, particularly on the bigger vehicles. So hold back. If you feel like you need you want, or you want to get up to the stop box, the bike box up the front, make sure you go up the right hand side because drivers are looking out for things in that right hand mirror more than they are on the left, there are too many blind spots on the left. If they're right in front of you, you, you you've probably got about three or four feet in front that you can't see uh, unless you're leaning over the steering wheel and looking down. Eye contact is probably one of the most important visual things. It, it's that, that connection, it's that, that acknowledgement that you've seen them and they've seen you. So if you are in the front, look back, actually give the guy a little wave, acknowledge them. Again, it's another thing to say, I've seen you, I've acknowledged you. I can't change driver's behaviour, but I can change mine. And if I show them positive, responsible, polite riding, invariably the response back to me is, is delivered in return, which is fabulous. Yeah, you know, like if I back off and then they'll just wave to me acknowledging it. It's just an acknowledgement thing and then we feel pretty good about it and, and I suppose they feel good too. So you're helping them, they're helping you. We're all on the road together. We're all road users and we all have a liability to each other to get home safely. Everyone wants to go home at night. So let's share the road. Let's be responsible. Let's see what we're doing. Let's let other people know what we're doing. We can all work together.